Since returning to Yu-Gi-Oh, I haven't had a set where if I see it in stores, I just have to buy it. But these two right here are those sets for me, and they came within a, a year of each other, which is pretty insane. In Rarity Collection, we have so many nice rarity upgrades to a lot of interesting cards, and not necessarily the best cards in my opinion, but Rarity Collection 2 does seem to be a little bit better, and then Phantom Nightmare has you bell which is awesome anyways let's go ahead and see what we can do in these blisters hopefully ho hopefully we pull a um i was gonna say starlight a quarter century rare though because that would be amazing i've uh i've been trying to try my hardest to pull a starlight rare from a blister here um i did it before so it's possible but i don't know maybe i'm just getting a little bit too greedy here uh we'll see we'll see let me got let me know too guys phantom nightmare is it is it treating you guys well people were hating on the set when it first came out but i think people started started enjoying it a little bit more than uh well definitely more than duelist nexus but age of overlord I don't know. That that set is one to beat. Spirit of Ubel. Hell yeah, let's go. I'll take that. Ubel uh the Ubel card. Spirit of Ubel and, and uh something nightmare. Nightmare Nightmare Pain are incredibly hard to pull, it seems. At least for me, from these blisters. And they are going up in value. So I, I don't mind pulling those those two cards in particular. I think there might be one more super that I'm forgetting. That's a Ubel card, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. We got an Aromalith Rosalina, probably the most forgotten archetype that was supported in this set. Because even the Raid Raptors are <laughs> are doing stuff. I mean, they might not be you know doing stuff in, in the tournament sense, but people are experimenting with them. I haven't really seen much much hype for the aroma lists or the uh, the waifus there. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ra oh, I mean, speaking of Raid Raptor Rising Rebellion Falcon, we got an ultra rare. There we go. Hell yeah! All right, let's switch it up to Rarity Collection. Rarity Collection has treated me pretty decently on the blister side, actually. So we'll see how that goes. They just buy a box as well because, yeah, I mean, again, these these two sets, there's a lot of there's a lot of glue here. Actually, I don't remember there there being that much glue. These two sets, if I see them, I gotta buy them, right? So, all right, Striker Dragon. I don't think we got a quarter century rare. I don't see anything too shiny there. Got a tour guide from the underworld as a secret rare, not a platinum rare. And then we got a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, hell yeah, a Mud Dragon of the Swamp, and uh, Inspector Border. That, that one was kind of a dud, I'll be honest. But uh, I feel like, yeah, there, why is there too much glue on these? Man. All right. Quarter Century Rare in this one for sure. We'll see. Reasoning, Outlick, the Golden... Lord, it's not even a prismatic secret rare. It's really hard to tell, too. I'm always like, wait, is it? Is it? It's not. We got Reinforcement of the Army and the Winged Dragon to Raw Sphere Mode. We got nothing in these two blisters. Oh, man, our luck is running out. We still got four Phantom Nightmares, though, so we'll see. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take a U-Bell quarter century rare. It's unfortunate, too, because they... they uh, a lot of the Ubel cards are not quarter century rare, and uh, they should have been. At least two, man. Come on. Ubel is, is a fan favorite. Why would you not make most of the archetype quarter century rare? <sighs> it is what it is, I guess. All right. This one also kind of has a lot of glue. I don't like that. Although I do like the new packaging. Great job, Konami. They are copying Pokemon. <laughs> for sure, but uh, it's a it's a lot better. I feel. Junk Dragon Let. We got Aroma Healing, Dark Element, Phantasmal Summoning Beast, and we got a Barrier of the Voiceless Voice. Nothing too crazy. I mean, even Voiceless Voice right now. Nothing that really is moving 
in the market right now. I think people are just anticipating the ban list, to be honest. And I don't blame them, because if they invest too heavily in one archetype and it gets nuked, then they're going to be in deep shit. Uh, Master of Ham, White Aura, Porpoise, uh, T-Jar. Oh, shit, I just ruined that one. What is this? Uh, another Voiceless Voice card. I think this is a one-off, though, from a lot of the deck profiles I've seen, at least. People are not really using that guy. All right, last pack. We need it. We want it. We'll get it. Phantom Nightmare, let's go. All right, so I'm, I'm very, I don't think we got something here, but uh, we can still pull a secret rare. We got, uh, so I, I never learned how to pronounce his name, Geist Grinder, Geist Grinder Golem, because it's supposed to be German, I, I believe. Raid Raptor, Glorious Bright, nope. and Obsidian of the Ashen City. Oh man, these blisters kind of sucked, didn't they? But uh, that is it. That is the video. We only pulled one, one ultra, and then as far as the the uh, rarity collection, you know, not nothing too crazy. I don't think we got Outlake. If you're into Outlake, then I guess that's a pretty decent pull. And then Torgad, which is kind of a decent generic card as a secret rare, but nothing in higher rarity. All right, catch you guys in the next one.